Okay, my friends, I've been wanting to do this for a while, getting really in-depth into the no-toes. I have different styles. This is a totally rounded no-toe that is different than the, you know, regular normal foot. Like, the well, these are kind of rounded too. But this one is specifically really, like, round. Now, then you have the tapered ones, and, and they this one here died like this. And we're going to be able to see where the, the fibula sat on the side here very easily when I highlight it. And this one, the same thing. This is, The fibulas fall right off, you see? They fall right off. Now, we're going to be looking at this in the microscope in a second. And the first thing I want to mention is this is the bottom of another no-toe. And it's, it's, well, obviously you can see it's extremely eroded. That almost looks like a wing nut. Now look at this. This here is mine, and that's the bottom right in the middle. It's not, it, there's no wing nut there that I can see. <laughs> but it does seem to almost have like a, a shoe pad underneath. But that is not a shoe pad. That's part of the guy's foot. I, I'm, I, as far as I can tell, we'll look at it in a microscope. It's the same material as all the rest. And this is nothing more than exactly what my belt looks like. Identical to what my belt looks like. It's, it's nothing more than leather. And it's not, a, it's not a shoe. It's not a shoe. Now we're going to look at the bottom. Start with the bottom in a microscope and look at it. And then I will show you where the fibula attached. You have to do this exactly perfectly because nobody would ever see that unless they know what to look for. And I do know what to look for. And that right there is where the fibula sat right on the side and then they just fall right off because you know, there's only a couple of other ligament attachments to hold it in place. It's not a really heavy duty bone and, and like normal. You would think a big bone attaches to another bone and when they break they just break. No, that's not the case here. It just separates. Alright, we're going to be looking at this foot that I just showed you a second ago where the fibula sits on a side and they just fall right off as I showed you and all of them do. Now, where is it? It's right there in the microscope. Now, where is the microscope? <laughs> Way up there. Now, that's a special rig I made because you can get such excellent quality in a microscope, even though it's way, way, way up there. Now, here's what we're going to be seeing, and well, there is what we're seeing. Now, let me crank this thing up. Now, it does create one bit of a problem. You get that, the light overshadows it, so you get this, this hue over here. But this was where the fibula just laid against the bone below, and, and it, it, it's an attachment inside. These are called basically ligaments where they link things. I'll show you the anatomical uh, in a second, but that is right where the bone would have laid against. Now, I'm going to try to move this and see if I can home it in where you see where the other attachment is. Uh, it's right up in here. It's right up in this area, up in here. Now, then there's another one behind the central one, which was there, which is back up here at the top in the back here. They're just ligaments. They attach. See that little black spot there right in the middle? That's where it attaches. Ligaments are hard to see the attachment, but that is the attachments on the side which is right down here and I will light this up and what you had just seen was the central core and then ligaments running side to side let me show you the anatomical it'll make more sense alright this is the fibula it's just a bone that just lays right up against it it's not socketed into anything to speak of it's just attached sort of like a pin and then there's a, a bunch of tendons that keep it snugged up against there and still let it do all that kind of motion. Let me show you those. Alright now remember this. This is the frontal look where it's just laying up there. The fibula just lays there. This is looking aside 
and it's got a rock in that little bit of a, a in, in my stuff it's flat as a pancake. This shows it's got some kind of a cradle, but but what I have is tendons strapped down in a little spot in the center holding it. Now I don't see that cradle. There's no cradle here. It's flat as a pancake. Flat as a pancake, and that's where it pins in right here. And then there's, see that little f wing right there, and that little wing right there. That's the whole, basically, the assembly locked it in place. And I'll show you the tendons in a second. So you have to get them in the right shadows sometimes, where you can see where this whole thing would be locked in with these straps going across that bone. You see it right there. Okay, I, I, I have to think that this is a little bit different construction than this because that's showing not a not flat surface. But anyway, this is the way the ligaments come down to lock this in position and still have it be flexible enough to do the job. Now, this one has the same sort of stuff. You see how they flare out this way and that way and the bone is in the middle? I have the same thing here on this one. The bone is in the middle right there. You see? And then they flare out here and they flare out there. And that allows that bone to move around. Now this one, see it right there? It, the, the, that whole big round space, I don't know if you can see that. I can see it for me. And it sort of it hits at this spot, but the whole thing is part of the, uh, the fibula. And these are the anchors. But very flat. Very flat. Now, this one here is also a flood. Now, this one died, and this will get also part of this great flood. This one died, I believe, on this side. Like that. And this one died on that side, I'm almost 100% sure. And it made it so that we could easily see the the assembly that held this fibula in position. See it right there? And a strap coming down, strap coming down. That's where it anchored right there. And that happened because it was laying this way and the thing just fell off. See that? That's the anchor right there. That's this anchor right in here. They're a little different. I mean, I... I <laughs> And we have another one. It's, uh, well, I don't know. These could, this could be a spring toe, spring foot. Because it's got this curve in here. And again, I'm going to dig in a little deeper on this and see if we can figure this out. Um, and, we, you know, we need to do a little, little digging around to see where tissues change. And, you know, like, I, I, I know there's no question right there. That's the, where the, the main bone comes down, the uh, tibia. And then, of course, we could see the fibula sits on the side. That's in the cradle. And they all have that little step up in the back where the bone hits, except this one. This one does not. You can see the bones here. This was a bone right here. And this was the blood supply. And that's why there's, there's you know, moss growing in there. It loves blood. There's still blood in this thing because the moss is eating it. <laughs> And uh, look at the lines they make. And Tish Egerton's feet had the same thing. They had lines going across them. Very strange. You know, you see it coming out like this. You'd expect them to come out this way, but no, they go sideways. Well, not completely sideways, but now that's another bone right there. So this one was a little bit different, I think, than this one. Now, let me show you what Tish's look like. Hold on. All right, remember this strap here. You see that the, the side of the foot I was showing you before had the fibula on it. This is the other side of the foot on the inside. The, the, the fibula sits on the outside of your feet and the tibia is on the inside and it attaches to this, the calcanus, the heel bone. Now, this strap runs all the way up across here and attaches to the bone that comes down, the main bone, which 
is the uh, tibia. Um, so when this foot separated, that tendon broke. And it's, this is the tendon strap right here. I'm going to show you this in pretty good detail. Now, don't forget, this is Tish Egerton. She's got some serious stuff here, amazing stuff. Now, let's go see. She's got a leg and all kinds of feet and all kinds of stuff. Now, don't forget, this is Tish's feet here. <laughs> now, you see this? It's the same thing as this. You see that? That's where all the blood comes down, and then it services the toes. There's toes in here, but they're, I call them no toes because they're inside there, and they are built in there. And that is not a medallion, that's just the way they're built. They, they overlap, and the straps come together, and they like pin themselves. I mean, it's just amazing. I, I, it's, I'm pretty sure this is, well, I'm almost positive Tish's stuff is engineered. And I'll show you why I say that. First of all, you see this right here? That looks like a, a wing nut. I mean, it does. And, and maybe it is. Maybe mine had one too. Or it's, it still does and it's down inside there. I don't know. This is, did this come off or is that just a normal arch? Of that, I don't know either. But I think it is the normal arch. When we look at it in a microscope, we'll be able to see pretty good. And you see how these flaps latch in? That's how everything seems to hold together in these tabs. And this has some strange stuff. And I think it has, has a, a pin right there. If you can see that little round spot. And I think these are springs. Now, Tish's, I don't think she has the same kind of springs. I don't know. They may be all kind of different feet. Because I have, I have a couple of other different styles here, too, which are just absolutely crazy. But they are feet. All right, let's take a look at Tish's, um, the spring foot. All right, so what do you have here? You have the spring foot. The toes would be out here. I'm going to explain these springs in a second. This is where the tibia comes down, and it sits in that saddle right there like that and your foot rocks back and forth. And this strap came up and attached right to here. So that the ten, the, the, the heel bone was always moving with this under tension. Tendon tension. Well, what are we looking at here? That's all the wrinkly stuff from the tendon. The tendon hat will have what they call a wrinkle zone. Where it breaks, it will get all wrinkly because it's under tension. It's being pulled and ping, and it makes a wrinkle zone. But that's it right there. This is what the tendon would look like. Now, there's some features in this thing that are very, very, very hard to explain unless somebody engineered them. Now, what are the things that are hard to explain? First of all, this is virtually no question a foot and we can see the heel bone you see the heel bone same as a normal heel bone you see the strap coming up you see the cradle everything's normal and then you see this well that is not normal what is going on here I, I can show you some of other tissue stuff and I think it's they all came from the same area I think and she just walked out in 15 minutes. She went out and found these after I put out a challenge on my uh, YouTube site. At that time, I was on YouTube and I put out a challenge that anybody can go out and find in 15 minutes. If you can't find mud fossils, I want to know. She went out and found this stuff in 15 minutes. Absolutely stunning. And I was just, I was, after I got up off the floor, I don't know what I, I can't, blah, blah, blah. let me show you why. There's, there's toes at the end, they look like little sausages. And when, when you step on them, apparently they had some kind of a give to them. And then this would engage. And this would come up and rock this way on this pin. So it's rocking on this pin. All right? As it pushes up and rocks on that pin, what happens? This is part of this 
assembly. Well, what do we have here? That is some kind of a tab that locked in to this assembly that was rocking this way, meaning moving this tab this direction. Kribish, it's on this pin, it spins back this way, and at the same time it loads up its spring. So its spring is loading up as you're pushing down, as this rocks and pulls this tab, sure looks like a tab to me, and it looks like a wire that runs up and attaches to that tab up there. I could be wrong, because I can't really see it that well. But I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. And what, what, what else happens? So this rocks in. This pulls down, which would force this to pull in. And there just happens to be a cavity here for it to pull in too. I didn't put it there. So now this cable pulls this in and there's actually a little latch there. I don't know what that's doing there, but it's there now. So we're, what have we loaded up? Our toes loaded up a little bit. Then this started to load pretty good. And if you really hit hard, it would pull all of this in and you would have a double unload when it came back because it would all just automatically unspring all by itself. Those are springs. They're springs. That's engineered. I don't care what you say. Now this here, I'm pretty sure, is what they call gumite. <laughs> I mean, it's like a gooey substance in between as a bumper pad. See it? Isn't that something? And there's a heel bone. I mean, I, I, who, who, how can you dismiss this? And this is the pad that I'm showing you on the bottom of, oof, of my foot. This pad down here. That we're going to be looking at that pad in the microscope in a second, because that bumps down. You see it off of the heel bone. And then we're going to look at where the fibula a fibula laid in here and attached right at that spot. This stuff is fascinating to me. Oh, some people just don't care about it, but to me it's this is uh, this changes history. I mean in, in a profound <laughs> a profound way. And it's been just dismissed and disregarded. As you know, uh, nobody cares. Well I guess nobody does care because it's been a very long time. Well, you saw the spring-loaded thing. I mean, it's just pfft, nothing like this. This is a big, they call it a calcanus. That's where that strap ran up to the tibia up here. All right. It was uh, on this side, actually, I believe. Anyway, totally different. And to me, it looked engineered as hell to me. And let me show you the whole leg. She had a whole leg she found. Now these are this is a whole different issue. This is a whole nother leg. And there's the arch of the foot. And it looks to have some kind of a knuckle right in there that lets it do whatever it does. It looks like it might be able to go this way and that way and this way and that way. Because these look like ligament straps. Anyway, you got all these same pins. And then you got a big heavy duty tendon strap. And this thing is thick. It's about this wide. And this is all filled with connective tissue and blood and gore. <laughs> it's about that wide. It's good size. So uh, to me, this is important. That we, we, I think we should look into this. If I was going to school and I was paying to go to school, I would want my teachers to look into something like this. This is where how tendons in place and they have, they have all these balls and little straps and so forth and ligaments lock in and carry over and so there's there's different types of attachments from tendinous ligament materials. And those are the things that give you just a little bit of oomph. And then it goes into a red muscle 
or it just goes into another bone if it's a ligament, ligging, ligging them together, ligamenting them together. If it's, if it's a tendon, it's always under tension with a muscle. That's the difference. And that's the difference between their attachment types. I told you we got a lot of different types. This one here is another toe, a foot. You see that right there? That is exactly the way the tendon locks in to go up to the to the bone that would have sat right there in this cradle. That's another foot. Look at that thing. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and I got another one that's even crazier. They're all different styles. You see that? Look at that. There's the little attachment in the center, and there's the ligaments on the side, and the ligament on the bottom holding the whole thing in place. Fell right off the side, just like they all do. I don't know what it was from. Maybe it was a little kid or something. I have no idea. But it just, again, they all died in the flood. This one died laying flat like that. That's why it fell off so cool like that. Isn't that something? Anyway, I, I've got so much of this stuff. Yeah, I could go on, I mean, I, I've been doing this for 12 years. I could go on day after day after day and never end. Every rock you pick up, you can basically, if you know what you're doing, you can figure it out. And some of them, I mean, you can't, you, can, you cannot unfigure it out unless you just uncare. All right, this, this one here for sure is another foot. Now, obviously, that's a foot. Block foot, there's no question, is a foot. That spring foot is a foot, and the leg and everything. Now, this one here, I don't see any reason to do the microscope. It's perfectly... Look at, look at how perfect that attachment position spot is. Look at that. That's the center spot, and this is where it attaches with the tendons. Now, Again, you see this little wrinkly spot down here? I'm sure there's another tendon came down to here. Under here, I can see actually red blood. In the microscope, I can see it's red blood there. I don't think you'll be able to see it in the microscope here. Maybe you can. No, I don't think so. But you can sure see the uh, attachment. You see that? Isn't <laughs> that something? And that's just a strange little foot. Now, I have another one I call the Oompa Loompa. See that? This, some little creature's foot. I don't know what it was. Looks like human-ish. Now, this side was where it died, like that. They all died in the flood. They have a flat spot. And uh, the Oompa Loompa, I guess I'll show it to you. What the hell? If you're not freaked out now, I, I mean, this, they must be. I don't know how many styles there were. I got like at least four here or five. Okay, it appears that this was the area where the tendon attached and the fibula sat down. But it, you see this cradle? You see the way this thing flares up in the back here? That's where the tibia sits in that little bucket. And this has the same thing, and it pushes up against that. You see that flare? Exact same thing. Now, this one here died... I mean, look at the damn thing. This thing is weird, isn't it? Isn't that strange? <laughs> isn't that odd? All right, now it died like this. All right, and the fibula was down here and just fell off. Now, what the top was like normally, I don't know. It's kind of flattish looking now. These are all tenderness spots. Now, did it have something up here? With, did these attached to something? I don't know. This is skin though. This is exactly like my belt skin. And um, so is that. And the bottom oh, has the little nubberns and where, you know, the, just exactly like you expect the foot to be. It's got the arch in it and all that stuff. I mean, it's just, it's just what it is. Oh, ah. And that's flat and, and um, 
pasted like that because it was in the mud, in the wet for a very long time, and it tra oh, transitioned. And this is what you got. Very, very strange stuff. I suppose we should look at this in the microscope. Why not? All right, there it is in the microscope. Here it is, and it's wet, and it's it's going to dry up pretty quick. That's the second time I wet it. The first time it zip dried right up. I mean, it's been sitting here for many years. Now, what are we looking at? We're looking at that interstitium. You see all the black balls? It's the same stuff that I showed you in my belt, basically. But you can't see the straps. But it, it, I'll see if I can find a place where you can see them. It's on... Um, it's on a little bit of a curve here. Let me find a different place and see if I can actually show you where the straps are. But it's all over the place, the same stuff. This is just like that leather. It's exactly like the leather, identical. Look at how cool this is. I didn't realize this. Look at these, all these little bundles of tissues. I thought that was dust at first. I couldn't get it off. It's not. It's actually the, the threads that are within the skin. Isn't that something? This is freaking crazy, man. Look at this. That's nothing that I put on there. This is part of the skin. See the bundles down in there? And then you got these white spots. Oops. Here's a big one right here. Now, what do we got here? I'm not sure to be perfectly honest with you, but it's some kind of a mineral growth. And I'm sure it's coming out of um, a vein or an artery, one or the other. Well, maybe we can tell. Hold on. I think this looks like an artery. I'm doing this freehand. Take it easy. There we go. That's better. Now i got to focus, focus, focus. That looks red and like blood to me. Now, is that the source of all that white stuff? I don't know. I think it is. I think this is from blood. If we go back up to where it came from, I think that's where it came from, right there. That would be my guesstimation. I'm going to take a look at another one. If we see the same thing, then we can make a, a better assumption. Okay, this is on Oompa Loompa. We're going to test to see if we get any catalase reaction just on the surface. Any catalase reaction? Yep. All over the place. Look at that. That's right on the top of the surface of Oompa Loompa. <clears throat> Look at that thing pouring off oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide reaction. See?
Now that's just on the surface of the skin. Now I want to try one of those white spots. Look at this thing. You know what? I'm going to try it on my belt. <laughs> I'll bet you do it on my belt too. I mean, it's just bubbling away. Let me try my belt. The only thing, I, it may not do it because it's probably been through some kind of chemical bath. Hold on, let's find out. No, I'm not seeing anything. That cloudy look is the lights, I believe. Nope, nothing. I only take all the biology out of it, apparently. Alright, this is the leathery side. Look at it suck up that water. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at that thing suck up water. It's bodily tissue loves water. Did you see that? I'm amazed how fast that happened. I, I'm usually pretty amazed, but not, that's amazing. I'm going to shoot another quick blast. Alright, it's just completely saturated with water now. Look at this, watch. Now, this is the second time within like 30 seconds, so obviously it's not going to suck it up like it did the last time. But boy, I'll tell you, the first time, whew, it was like spontaneous done. Anyways, that was pretty cool, I thought. <laughs> I'm easily amused. Look, there it goes. Once it gets down to pretty close to the end, it's gone. Now, this is leather. That's leather. That's what it was. This was on the side that was in the mud. Okay, you saw the leather. And that's what we were looking at right there. And it's wet now. But this is the, the side that would have been down in the... laying flat in the mud. So that's why it's still real brownish looking. Ah! The other sides have, you know, substantially eroded, not terribly. You know, that is, the, you can see the texture of the skin is there. It's still all over this thing. You see, that's the hide. That's, that's, oops. My poor screen here, I bash into it all the time. That's the, the literally the hide. You see that? That's the hide. Anyway, that's what we got. That's the Oompa Loompa. And it's got the same arch in his foot as we do. You see? The pad in the back, it's got the little bumps in the front that... And this. That's also the hide. And everything pinches together. They all come to a point and they pinch together. Now this one, again, look at that. Isn't that something? It all rounds into a circle here. I just noticed that. <laughs> I see something new every single time I pick one of these up. 
every single time. Look at that. That circle. I don't know. It's crazy looking, huh? Anyway. Ugh. That's the guy where his, his foot would go in the back. The bone in the back. And that's the lip that it push it back against. It would sit right on that little cradle there. Just the way my other one here. Imagine. Hold on. Alright, that looks pretty similar to me. There's that circle. And there's something coming off of the back there. But there's that same tab that sticks up like that. Now, I don't know if I see the same structure. I really can't say I do. But I do see the circle right there. And hopefully you will. And um, there's something coming up here. This is low, this is up higher. But this has the same rise going up there as the big Oompa Loompa one does. I really can't see that. Well, that, that could be it right there, just slid off to the side. I don't know. But it is what it is.